presents... From Frontierland, Zorro. Adios, El Cachillo. Starring Guy Williams, guest star Gilbert Rowland. I've been arrested in one man, Zorro. You seem to be very concerned. May I ask why? I don't think Los Angeles is big enough for Zorro and El Cuchillo. This program is brought to you by... Metrical, dietary for weight control. Metrical, to help you lose weight and avoid regaining it. And Canada Dry. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to Coast, America's first family of beverages. Hey, where's the fire? Right in those big brown eyes of Bo Maverick. Because those wild women of the American West really kindled the spark for this dashing cousin of those Maverick rascals. Played for excitement, laughs, and romance by handsome Roger Moore in Maverick. Thank you so much. My pleasure, ma'am. Maverick is the name. Yes, Bo is an ideal addition to the Maverick crew. For wherever he goes, he's ready to take a hand in a game, give his arm to a gal, and put his foot into trouble every step of the way. Hey. Throw this man off. The expected. My mistake. All right, you. So be on the lookout for Bo Maverick when he goes into action in the show with that special sparkle, all America's television favorite, Maverick. Every week on ABC TV. And now, your Disneyland host, Walt Disney. Of all the lawless men whose evil plans were opposed by Zorro, one of his most worthy adversaries, so the story goes, was El Cachillo, a light-hearted rogue swashbuckler with a flashing smile for a pretty girl, El Cachillo was an opponent well suited to test Zorro's mettle. He was a splendid horseman and an expert swordsman. When he crossed blades with Zorro, he gave as good as he received. Our last program showed you the first meeting between these two antagonists. You saw how Zorro foiled the Wally Bandito's plan to steal a shipment of silver. And you heard Zorro's warning to El Cachillo. You're out of Los Angeles, Cuchillo. Now stay out. And you heard El Cuchillo's answer. No, Chato. El Cuchillo does not shoot a man in the back. Now for the rest of this exciting adventure that pits the debonair El Cuchillo against the audacious Zorro. Its title, Adios El Cuchillo. We got to get some money. We get it tonight. Now remember, shh, quiet. And then psh, psh, psh. You go with me, Jato. to steal here, Cuchillo. Here, fix this. Uh, we must admit one thing, Zorro does a neat job. Zorro is a good man with a sword, very good. I'd like to get him once. Just once where he can get away from me. Uh, I got to find some, some conchos. Well, go and find them.
I found the conscience. <laughs> I found it. Look on the I found him. Let's go. Go on. on. Now? Now. Everybody eh, is out stealing. You'll get your share, no matter who steals it. Go on. So on. Somehow it's not the same. I think I found something. Yeah. Here's another one. Any more? No. Good, I to you. <laughs> These are not the same conscious, but they will do. No one will notice. Hey, pretty good job, eh? Huh? Not a wrinkle. <laughs> Oh, 
no! Back to the tailor shop. Chewing on this cigar, you get me more hungry. Buenas tardes. Ah, Don Diego. Julita, don't move. I want you to see this. Isn't that beautiful? The subject is beautiful. The drawing is excellent. <laughs> uh, actually, it's all finished. Now you go in the kitchen and do what you're supposed to be doing. Don Diego, let me say again how much I enjoyed last night at your hacienda. I can assure you, Chulita, you did not enjoy last night one half as much as I did. Oh, well, uh, perhaps I may visit again? I think I'll hold you to that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You go and wait on the customers. What customers? You and your friends have not ordered a thing all day. Well, I'm ordering now. Bring a lot of wine and food for everybody. Oh, no, no, no. Senor Pachaco told me not to take any orders from you unless you give me the money first. Uh, you tell Senor Pachaco I'll pay him tomorrow, huh? Ay, he's gonna hate me all day. <laughs> uh, sit down, Diego. With pleasure. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid you'll find me a very difficult subject. Please. Hold still. Uh, Diego, how long have you been in Los Angeles? Well, except for six years in Spain, uh, all my life. Why? Uh, then you must know everybody in Los Angeles, huh? Well, a great many, but not everyone. Why? I'm interested in one man. Sorro. Sorro? You know, the bandido. If you can call him that. That's what he's been called. Uh, you must have thought about it one time or another. Uh, have you any idea who he is? Now, what makes you think that I would know who Zorro is? Zorro must have another identity. He can't hide behind a mask all the time. You're right, he can't. Well, who is he? You seem to be very concerned. May I ask why? I don't think Los Angeles is big enough for Zorro and El Cuchillo. Oh. What do you mean, uh, Oh. Uh, nothing. Uh, for a moment, I thought I uh, detected a personal grudge, but uh, then I remembered that according to Sergeant Garcia, Zorro has been seen only once since your arrival. And at that time, he was fighting bandidos. It is personal. Besides, I like Los Angeles, and I would like to do something for this beautiful little Pueblo. You sent for me, Don Diego? It will keep, such. What are you doing, Senor Cuchillo? Drawing? Uh-huh. Oh, I would like to see it. May I, please? It might interest you, Gordito. <laughs> Ah! Oh! 
You clumsy fool. It was an accident, senor. It was his last one. He's my servant, and I am responsible for his actions. It's all right with me, senor. But Don Diego is not armed. He is now. One out of two adults today is overweight. And as your physician, your best source of counsel will tell you, overweight not only detracts from appearance, but impairs health and shortens life. Metrical in new liquid form is the most convenient way to help you lose weight and avoid regaining it. Metrical liquid lets you take your diet with you anywhere you go. No longer need a weight control program be followed only at home. For although many people prefer their Metrical cold, it requires no refrigeration until opened. No risk of spoilage or loss of vital nutrients. Even on vacation, Metrical fits your way of life. Metrical helps you restrict your calories while providing sound nutrition and appetite satisfaction. Just open, pour and drink. Deliciously pleasing by any standard. Metrical, the established dietary with clinically proven safety and effectiveness. Sergeant, uh, may I use your office to uh, clean up? Certainly. Permiso? than keeping out of his way. Well, if you'd kept out of his way any harder, you, you might have killed him. Oh, Sergeant Garcia, Don Diego, I, I... Hey, what has happened here? My food, my furniture. Uh, please, put it on my bill. Oh, certainly, Don Diego. That won't be necessary. I'll take care of the innkeeper. I thought I'd have Don Diego. Vega could handle Carancho. There may be a lot more about Diego de la Vega that we don't know. I see you still have your prisoner, Sergeant. They leave for Monterey in the morning. I will be glad to be rid of that vibora. He is a mean one. You know, Sergeant, I'm surprised that no attempt has been made to rescue those bandidos. Who is there to rescue them? Oh, well, Sergeant, I still believe they're part of a larger group that is still in Los Angeles. Don Diego, there were four bandidos who attempted to steal his silver. I captured three of them. One of them got away. Now, I know that you have been trying to tell me that Senor Cuchillo and his men are these bandidos. Well, they are. You yourself have proved that they are not. Last night, when the tavern was robbed, El Cuchillo and all his men were guests at your hacienda. And today, 
Today I find you seated at his table. Now, Don Diego, I am not saying that you and El Cuchillo are having difficulties, but leave me out of it. Please? Well, adios, amigos. Have a nice trip to Monterey. Gracias. Saludame a los muchachos. Cómo no. Thank you. Tomen. You have a very kind heart. Don Diego, I have taken every precaution. Soon the ship from Boston will arrive, and we will sell the hides for 20,000 American dollars, and then, then you will have nothing more to worry about. Sergeant Garcia! Sergeant Garcia! Oh, Sergeant Garcia, I have been robbed. Again, Senor Pachaco? El Cuchillo and his men, they ate my food and drank my wine, and when I demanded payment of them, they knocked me down and took all my money. Don Diego, I am very much afraid that your friend El Cuchillo is a bandido. Oh, Sergeant! After them! They cannot have gotten far. Of course. Lancers! Who hard! Too hard! Too hard! Well, that's strange. Why would Cuchillo spoil everything for himself? Tell me later. Lancers! Mount! Follow me! Guide, see Don Diego. Has anyone spoken to the prisoners today? Only little Chato. Chato? He brought them some cigars for their long trip to Monterrey. Gracias. Is that what you were trying to tell me? happens when the fat one starts counting noses. Soon it'll be too dark for that. And there's no one to stop us. Come on.
him out. One moment. I will open it. Again. The sooner the better. You two after Zorro. The rest, follow me. say good riddance. El Cuchillo and his men could not have left Los Angeles at a better time. If they left, Father. But I do not believe they have. I think they're somewhere up in the hills. Zorro has not found them. Sergeant Garcia has not found them. True. So? They've gone back to Mexico. No. Whatever else may be said of Cuchillo, he's loyal to his men. And three of them are still in jail. I do not think he would leave town without trying to get them out again. So? And then there's that uh, ship coming in next week with 20,000 American dollars. Now, no self-respecting bandido would ride away from that, huh? Diego, you are a great comfort to me. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. This is 
consider? Your son has good ears, Don Alejandro. Well, Cachillo, we, uh, we were just discussing you. Oh, really? Uh, help yourself. Thanks. Pedro and the others are taking care of everything back there. Did you search the hacienda? See, si, nobody there. Try upstairs. What do you think you're doing? I give you one guess. Get out, all of you. Then I kill them now, Cachillo. No, no, it's my turn. You killed the last one. I did not. Tarancho did. No, no, that was the one before last. No, no, no. Don't tell me no. how. You see, Don Alejandro, they are like children. Please don't move towards me again, huh? Please. Uh, Diego, I don't want to be impolite, but we spend a bad night in the hills and uh, we are very hungry. Please forgive me. Uh, Father, well, you seem to be neglecting our guests. Ah. If you'll all go into the hacienda, we'll do our best to take care of you. Watch outside. New for you and enough for two. Canada Dry flavor beverages in throwaway cans. So easy to serve, so delectable to enjoy, and so many flavors too. From ginger ale to true fruit orange to high spot lemon soda. And after you've savored the flavor, you throw the can away. All Canada Dry beverages in throwaway cans have the same sparkling, wholesome ingredients as Canada Dry's bottled beverages. And they're a good buy for your money. There's 12 ounces in every can. They pour two full glasses. Canada Dry flavor beverages, including ginger ale, come in drink em up throwaway cans. So easy to serve, so quick to chill so delectable to enjoy. From Canada Dry, America's first family of beverages. Alejandro, please sit down. Thank you. Senor, we are going to be your guests for about a week or so, until the ship from Boston arrives in San Pedro. Uh, you and Diego are free to come and go as you please. Uh, one at a time. Just as long as one of you remains seated in this chair. I must warn you that uh, if there's any sign of trouble, Whoever seated in the chair. Boom. Why don't we just kill them now? Why are you always so anxious? Because, because you never let me do it. You always give the job to somebody else. Yeah, I haven't been very fair to you, have I? Yeah. Hey, Diego, uh, where is your servant? You know that nice little mute fellow? Another. Hmm. At the moment, I can't say. Oh. Uh, Chato, uh, when he comes back, you can kill him. Oh, thank you, Cuchillo. Thank you, eh? Chato! Look at you. Look at you like pigs. You make me sick. Has no manners. Well, maybe someone should teach them something. Just a moment, Diego. Well, I'm just going to change places with my father. Isn't that what you want? One of us sits as hostage for the other? Good. This thing is giving me saddle sores. Cuchillo! Cuchillo! Huh? Sergeant Garcia's coming with the soldiers. It looks like he brought the whole garrison. Go and warn the others. Come over here. 
they said. I want you to go outside and send those soldiers away. Well, uh, what do you suggest I tell them? It's up to you, amigo. But remember, boom. Do as he says, Diego. And give Sergeant Garcia my warmest regards. Oh, buenos dias, Sergeant. Don Diego, I... Oh, buenos dias, Don Alejandro. Does, uh, does Don Alejandro have a stiff neck? No, he's fine. Oh. Oh, Don Diego, I have the most wonderful news. The ship from Boston has arrived a whole week early. I have already sent the hides on to San Pedro. You do not seem pleased, Don Diego. No, I am, Sergeant, really. Don Alejandro does not look happy either. Maybe if I give his neck a little twist. Uh, no, Sergeant, no, he, he's fine. But he looks so uncomfortable. He's all right. Right now, I'm on my way to San Pedro. Fine. Will you inform the other rancheros that I'll return this evening with the money? Yes. Gracias. Don Diego, I... <laughs> Don Diego, I forgot to tell you something. Last night, I chased both Zorro and El Cuchillo out of Los Angeles. I chased them so far, <laughs> I couldn't even find them. The money will be safe. Adios. Adios, Don Alejandro. Lancer! Forward! Ah, oh, your father is all right. But your first instinct was correct. I don't need you anymore. Why don't we just kill them now? In a moment. Uh, sit down, Diego. Oye, Trampa, huh? take some men and go to Los Angeles and get Dibora and the others out of jail. See? Si. Oye, you shouldn't have any trouble. Uh, the Fed Sergeant has most of the soldiers with him. I'll meet you on the road to San Pedro. Si. Well, Diego, uh, I'm sorry the ship is a week early. I'm sorry, too. I could have enjoyed our little visit. We could have talked about a lot of things. You might even remember who Sorrow was. I uh, believe we discussed that yesterday. It wasn't much of a discussion. You answer each of my questions with one of your own. Ah, I wish I had time to find out why. Huh? Well, goodbye, amigo. Hey. Now? Oh, no, no, no. These are my friends. Wait until I'm farther away. I'll fire a shot. Bye, amigos. Adios. Hold on. by signal. Surfside 6. What's that? Surfside 6. An address? Surfside 6. Where is it? In Miami Beach. Surfside 6. Starring Troy Donahue. Surfside 6. Diane Williams. Surfside 6. Lee Patterson. In Miami Beach. Co-starring Diane McBain. And Margarita Sierra. Surfside 6. The year's newest, most glamorous address in Miami Beach. By night and by day, the brilliant Gold Coast is a fabulous backdrop for the dramatic adventures of the most exciting new stars of television.
see Surfside 6 every week on ABC. We now pause for station identification. I'll return to Adios El Cachillo. <laughs> Mice. Chato, take him to Los Angeles. Father, you get as many of the dons together as you can. I'm going to need some help. Every man to do his duty. But the first sergeant will defend the money with his life. I'll cut a path through him. You follow me. Take the wagon and get out of there. Say what you go. Out.
on solo. All right, come on. next time. Please, Senor Zorro, help me. I'm stuck. No, no, no thanks, Sergeant. I think we've both had enough fighting for one day. But wait, wait! Sergeant, it was a good idea to separate El Cuchillo from his men. Send them on ahead. But are you certain you do not wish some of the dons to ride with you to Mexico? Oh, no, Don Alejandro. You have all done enough. This is a situation for the army. Yes, it is, Sergeant. And I certainly hope you are up to it. Bring the prisoner! Comfortable? My nose itches a little bit. <laughs> Tell me, what will they do to you in Mexico? Capitan Rodriguez wants to shoot me against the wall. Ah, uh, he was wanting to do that for a long time. <laughs> I'll be glad to go back to Mexico. I haven't had a good, uh, a good enchilada in a long time. <laughs> Hey, all the rancheros were at the fight. But I didn't see you. Where were you? Well, I uh, was uh, hiding in the bushes. You have a little cut in your cheek there. Oh, it uh, was a rose bush, and uh, one of the thorns cut me. Now, isn't that silly? Yeah. Yeah, very silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, amigo. Adios, El Cuchillo. Oye, gordito. Vámonos. Ándale. Lancer! Forward! Poor Chulito. Her heart must be broken. She um, hides it rather well. Are you leaving Los Angeles? Si, sí, Senor Diego. Chulita, you must not permit this to ruin your life. It was not your fault you fell in love with a bandido like El Cuchillo. No, Don Alejandro. You can build a fine new life somewhere else. Si, sí, Don Alejandro. You will meet another young man. Pardon me, but uh, I must not be late, huh? Eh? Adios. Adios, Julita. Must not be late. There's no stage due today. What do you think, Diego? I don't know. Wait. Watch. Why, the nerve of the man. You know something? This time I'm going to fix him for good.
not move, senor. You're in peril, the senorita. Now, right around the rock. Man does not have time to be a bandido. Ah, Chihuahua. Well, this is not what I had in mind. Ah, kid. Bueno. Cheyenne Bodie. Every road he travels leads to excitement. Could be an ambush. Hit it! Ah, they did Every man he meets learns quickly whether he's friend or foe. Sorry, Sheriff. You won't listen to reason. You leave me no other choice. Cheyenne using brawn and brain to survive in an untamed frontier where bullets spoke louder than the law. We've done enough talking, Bodie. We're coming in for him. Nobody's taking my prisoners. The Cheyenne Show, a full hour of spine-tingling action adventure on ABC TV. case filled with gold, a black mask, and a sword. A strange combination for a wedding, yet they play an important part next week in our Zorro adventure titled The Postponed Wedding. Our story begins late night as Don Alejandro and Don Diego make an important discovery. For Constancia de la Torre on the day of her wedding with loved grandmother. This is her dowry. So it would seem. Then she is planning to elope with this Miguel, uh, what is his name? Well, I will put a stop to that right now. I'm okay, Paso. I can love no other. I'm okay, Paso. Where are you? A beautiful senorita house guest and a mysterious young suitor pose a serious problem to the De La Vegas. Don Diego's efforts to solve the problem are brought to an abrupt and violent halt. Miguel. One moment, senores. Zorro. <laughs> Zorro exposes his plot becomes a fascinating and thrilling experience and one not to be missed. Next week, when Walt Disney presents The Postponed Wedding. Senorita. Can you hold this? Adventure and romance are calling you. Come to the South Pacific. Come to the islands of paradise. But beware, at any moment, paradise can become an inferno. ABC TV proudly presents James Michener's outstanding series of hour-long dramas, Adventures in Paradise, starring Gardner McKay in the rugged, virile portrayal that has made him one of television's outstanding personalities. Captain Adam Troy of the schooner Tiki, who knew the sea was like a woman. Hey, do you believe in mermaids? <laughs> Fascinating, unforgettable, dangerous. So follow him through story.
joys of romance, mystery, and spectacular action as his white-winged schooner carries you far off the beaten track to new adventures in paradise every week on ABC TV. Tonight's program has been brought to you by the American Broadcasting Company and its affiliated stations throughout the United States and North America. for a big surprise when you discover the fun and excitement of Walt Disney's new motion picture, The Parent Trap. It's twice the fun when you see duplicate daughters set a trap for the gal who's after their dad. Starring Maureen O'Hara and Brian Keane. Come on in, it's See Haley Mills and Haley Mills in The Parent Trap when it plays in a theater near you.